Yo, man, what's up? Bro, I'm at the gym. I haven't been in the gym in so fucking long, bro. Because, like I said last time, it's just been like school and shit. It's been like fucking me up. Bro, it's, it's hard to get in the gym, though. Like, bro, like when I was in high school, like it was so fucking easy to go to the gym all the time because like, like time management was not a fucking problem in high school because like, High school for me was so fucking unserious, it was so stupid, bro. Like, I literally, like, I think for my senior year, I, like, like, I bet, like, if you were to calculate it, I, like, I didn't go, like, 50% of the time. Maybe even more than that. I literally had a class in senior year where, like, I, I didn't show up, I still got 100. That's, like, like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Like, I, I'm like, I'm kind of glad that was like, that like happened because, damn, what the fuck? Shit. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so like, I'm kind of glad that shit happened just cause like, it was just like, bro, like, I can just go home early as fuck and like chill. But also, god damn, this shit's bad. Uh, but, damn, she's looking at me too, fuck. Okay, my bad. So like, yeah, um, yeah, fucking, Damn, what was I even talking about? Yeah, okay, so, like, classes and shit, like, were stupid as fuck, like, and, like, I barely did, had any homework, like, this shit was a breeze, bro, like, for real, but, yeah, bro, like, I don't know, like, was that fucking, damn, I shouldn't have said her name, god damn it, Ugh, I don't want to go to the fucking gym now, my bad, my bad. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I can cut that in the video. Well, again, <laughs> damn. But uh, shit. Yeah. So. Fuck. What was I talking about, bro? Um. Fucking. Yeah. High school was fucking stupid. Um. Yeah. Time management. That's what the main focus was. I think. Um. I think fucking. Um. Like, time management has, like, definitely been an issue lately. Like, I, I honestly, like, I thought, like, I could do it. Like, I could time manage, but, bro, I cannot do that shit for the life of me. I mean, I'm chugging the C4 right now, trying to get some energy. But, like, I didn't realize how bad I was at that shit until college. Because college is, like, actually, like, serious, like, like, you're in school for real. Like, high school was just, like, a, you're, I'm bullshitted. And like, part of me is kind of mad at myself for bullshitting because now I don't know what the fuck's going on. And like, I'm not like used to any of this shit at all. Like, I'm not used to like, um, like getting assignments in like late, like without like anything, like without like a penalty or anything. So like, um, yeah, I'm really like facing the fucking consequences on that shit. Fucking. Yeah, like, um, yeah, time management has been, like, a big thing, and it's been, like, it's been, like, making me, like, not being able to get in the gym at all, like, for, a, like, a long time, when it's, like, when it's, like, peak, like, we have eight-week periods, when it's, like, peak eight-week period, and I'm, like, it's, like, in the middle of, like, it's, like, four or five weeks and beyond, bro, it is fucking absolutely hard as fuck to get into the gym, like, in any point. Because, like, I feel like I'm just wasting time when I go to the gym now. Like, I feel like, fucking, like, if I shouldn't be here and I should be at home doing work. Like, that's just how, that's just how I feel. And, like, whenever, like, I'm doing work, I, like, yeah, I'm, like, I can't just, like, stop doing this to go to the gym. <sighs> but I don't know. Because I know, like, I know, like, doing your, like, like, you know, maintaining your health is, like, fucking, like, a good thing. But it's just, like, I don't know. I feel like you should put school first. Like, obviously. I feel like I would rather be out of shape and get this degree than fucking be jacked as fuck and, like, fail college. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. That's just how I feel, though. Damn, I get, like, I feel like morning congestion. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I feel like the goddamn Dre Drexler right now. I fucking, <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a throwback right there. Um, fucking, yeah. Uh, 
What else are we gonna talk about? Um, yeah, time management, college. Bro, I didn't really expect college to be that hard, to be honest. Like, I, I go to a community college, so it's just like, I thought like, bro, I remember when I was like, about to graduate, I was like, man, like, and like, I never did homework in high school, but I was like, bro, when I get to college, I'm gonna lock the fuck in, I'm gonna like, get good ass grades. And it was like, bro, I don't know what it is, bro, but I have a big problem with like, saying I'm gonna do something, and then not fucking doing it. Like, I, like, but that, but that like, only, that only like, is like, a problem when it comes to stuff for me, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll follow through on something for somebody else, like, all day. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, if I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it for you. But when it comes to myself, bro, I suck ass at that shit, like, really bad. Like, I don't know why. I have, like, the worst fucking discipline of all time. Like, I'll just be, like, fucking, um, telling myself, like, oh, bro, like, I'm gonna go to the gym more, or I'm gonna, like, lock in on school, and I'm never gonna miss an assignment ever. Or, like, I'll be like, oh, I'm not gonna, like, watch porn anymore, or, like, you know, do, do like, a bunch of, like, worldly shit. Or I'm gonna, like, read my Bible more, like, shit like that. But I always, like, like I'm just, I'm just, like, a normalized fucking human. Because I do that shit for, like, a week, maybe, and then, like, or two weeks at best, and then, like, I fucking, um, stop. I just completely stop. <laughs> and I make up a bunch of excuses. Bro, like, um, my pastor from, like, uh, when I was, like, four, not four, from, like, four years ago, I think it was, like, four or five years ago, um, when I was in middle school, or it was either, like, middle school or the beginning of high school, I can't remember, but I remember, like, he was talking about how, um, like, fucking, uh, the average human, like, stays motivated, like, actually motivated about something, like, at most for, like, two weeks. And I was like, holy shit, that's so true. Because I feel like I go through everything on like a two week cycle. I feel like, or maybe even, if even two weeks, like I'll go through it. But like, yeah, I feel like I go through everything on like a two week cycle. And then like, I'll stop doing it. Like, I remember like, bro, I've been like, having like a bad problem. Or I used to. I used to have like a, like a bad problem with like porn and shit. And like watching porn but i feel like every guy like it's just like that's like every dude bro like not every dude wants to admit it but they know it's fucking true they know they have a problem with porn like you know and i mean like i don't really think porn like i don't know i don't think porn is like inherently like bad for you in a way i think it gets bad when you start watching like crazy shit and i never dove down that realm so i'm not like I wasn't, like, super worried about it. Like, I wasn't, like, fucking watching, like, BDSM and, like, shit like that. But, like, um, uh, I just thought, like, you know, like, I just thought, like, it would be good for me to not watch it anymore. I, I don't know. I just thought it would be, like, a good idea. So, like, I really struggle with that shit. And, like, I would, like, because, like, bro, like, I don't know. It's, like, the fucking, like, the feeling of beating your dick, bro. Like, I feel like every dude... Like, they don't want to admit it, but that shit, you know, that shit is hard to get off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just, like, quit cold turkey and it'll be, like, straight and you'll be fine. Bro, like, when you quit, like, beating off, it's, like, fucking crazy. Like, you feel horny as fuck all the time. Like, you just want to fuck something. Like, all the time. Like, I don't know, bro. That shit's, like, it's really intense. It's, like, an intense process. And, like... I feel like the way to get off, really, is just, like, to wean yourself off of it, like, slowly. And I know that's, like, <laughs> bro, I know that's, like, just how everything is. But, like, quitting cold turkey is just not the way to go. Because you're just gonna, you're gonna quit cold turkey, and then you're just gonna be, like, counting the days and shit. I feel like when you start counting the days, it's, like, bro, like, what even, what even is the point anymore? Like, I saw this guy, and he was talking about how, like, um, people would be, like, people would be, like, um, oh, day 100 of not doing, like, meth, and then he's like, but why are you counting? It's, like, shit like that, bro. Like, and that, I mean, like, that sounds such, like, red pill shit, but it's just, like, bro, it's not even, like, like, a bad thing to say, because it's, like, I feel like if you want to quit something, then you have to make it, like, your personality, you know what I'm saying? 
Bro, I feel like I've been talking about nothing this whole time. But, like, um... But, yeah, I feel like if you want to, like, get off of something, you have to make it your personality that you don't do that. And I feel like that you can say that for doing shit, too. Like, I remember, like, before I went to the gym, like, being, like, a being like a fit person was, like, not a part of my personality at all. But then, like, I got into, like, cross country. I started running a lot. I started actually getting fit. Like, I could, like, run, like, like 10 miles without, like, fucking dying. And, like, after, after I started running, I started, like, taking like, way more pride into, like, my fitness. And so, like, after that, I started, like, going to the gym and, like, lifting weights. And, like, yeah, so, like, I feel like in turn, like, cross country, like, got me into the gym. Which is a really weird thing to say since cross country is, like, the only sport where you can be, like, fucking basically, like, just skin and bones and, like, be a good athlete but like yeah like and then I made that like a part of my personality like that I go to the gym and I'm a fit guy and I like you know I can go on runs I can I'm an athletic guy I can play sports like I can go out and play basketball if I went to right now um but yeah bro it's just like that's that's what you gotta do you just gotta make it like your personality like hey like I'm a guy I don't beat my dick that's gonna be your personality I mean like you don't have to make it like the focal point of like your whole existence but it's just like you know like when people like bring up like porn or whatever when you're with your guys like talking and shit you're, you're gonna be that one guy who's like bro i don't beat my dick and you know what and you know what bro i feel like people would think that if they say that they're gonna look lame but like bro every time a guy like says like he doesn't beat his dick at all it's, like, the main, like, fucking talking point of the conversation. Like, have you ever seen, like, Theo Vaughn, like, um, talk to his, like, old, like, uh, tech producer? Like, that fucking, like, Asian kid that, like, I think he's, like, Filipino or some shit. You know, he was, I don't know what he was. Taiwanese or some shit. And he, like, didn't beat his dick at all. He never fucking touches meat. And then, like, everyone was like, what? Like, you don't, you never beat your dick before. Like, he had, like, Shane Gillis on, and, like, Shane Gillis was like, what the fuck? Like, everybody was just like, holy shit, this guy's never beat his meat before. Like, I feel like, I feel like you would be, like, the main focal point. Because everybody would be like, dude, how do you, like, not beat your dick? I don't know, maybe that's just, like, me being, like, a fucking, like, self-centered ass motherfucker. But, like, I feel like that's how it would go down, bro. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back in just a second. I'm gonna actually go to the gym for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm in the parking lot right now. But I feel like I've been talking about nothing for like 13 minutes. But I'm gonna like cut this video, and I'll come back in just a second. I'll see y'all. Yo, just got out the gym out. Just been parked. Yeah, bro. It was, it was a pretty good workout. Just a little back and bicep, rear delt. Nothing too crazy. Um, finally got back in the shit, bro. I forgot what I was talking about before, but, uh, fucking, yeah, dude, uh, I've been chilling, man, just, I'm, at, I'm back home right now, just in the parking lot, chilling, uh, fucking, what was I gonna talk about, bro, um, damn, yeah, gym, gym is crazy, fucking, uh, Yeah, bro. Bro, I have like a like. Where you ever like go to the gym and you have like a little like wardrobe malfunction, low key. And you gotta like dip early sometimes. Like I feel like that shit kind of happened today, <laughs> bro. Like I kind of just like woke up and like didn't get ready at all and just like went to the gym, got a fucking energy drink and a little uh, what is this shit? I don't even know, like a protein bar or whatever. I just went to the gym. Like just went straight there. Didn't shower before or anything. I, I know it's kind of rank, bro. But let's like. I was like, bro, like, I keep making fucking excuses and shit. Like, I gotta just get up and go. Which wasn't a good idea. Because then I get there, and I'm like, fucking, like, why? I'm like, whoa. I'm like, low-key, like, I feel unhygienic as fuck type shit. So, like, I kind of had to just, like, dip early. Because I just felt gross. You know? I don't really think I dipped early, though. I feel like I fucking, I, I did everything I needed to do. I hit rear delts, biceps, back. I feel like I did good. Bro, one one exercise for your arms that I'd recommend fucking is 
bro, it, I don't know how to, exp I don't know what the name is for it, but it's like, you get like dumbbells and you fucking, you curl them. And then this is what you do. When you're up here, you twist them like this and then you go down like that and then you hammer curl that shit. And then you just keep repeating the cycle over and over. Bro, that shit is crazy. Because bro, it hits literally every part of your arm. It hits your forearm because you're twisting the dumbbells up here. It hits your fucking bicep. It hits your brachialis. Like it hits like the short head. I'm pretty sure like it gets a long head in there somehow. But like bro, that shit has been fucking working wonders, bro. That's like the only bicep exercise you really need. Like like that's the only arm exercise for your biceps you really need. Like bro, that shit is fucking insane. And also like, I stopped using like rope for like tricep pushdowns, I started using like a straight bar, just like pushing down. I feel like I can get more weight down like that. And I feel like, I feel like people like think too much about like, like high weight and shit like that. They're like, oh no, like the best way to gain muscle is like fucking low weight, high repetition. But it's like, bro, I feel like I get so much more of a pump when I get like some heavy ass weight on the tricep extension on a straight bar and i'm just fucking going stupid on that bitch like i can i can do like fucking like 65 70 pounds doing that shit bro that shit really is fucking crazy yeah bro i don't know bro I, i've been in the gym for so long like i feel like i don't know i've been in, i've been consistent in the gym i think for like one and a half years maybe maybe longer than that i don't know I feel like sometimes I should be bigger than I am, which probably is true. Like, I feel like if I have my diet, like, super down and check, then I would be fucking amazingly big. But also, I feel like I compare myself to the wrong people. Like, there's people out there who have crazy genetics, and they can literally, like, start lifting, and then, like, in a year, they can be, like, competition ready. Like, that shit is insane to me, bro. Like, the, the top one percenters, I feel like I compare myself to them a lot. Because there are some people like that in my city that are just fucking insanely jacked, like, just from the start. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, like, I never really was, like, lean as shit. I never, I, I was always, like, super skinny, but I was, like, skinny fat. Because I had, like, I had, like, gut fat, but uh, my arms were, like, super skinny. Like, I just had, like, no muscle at all. I, but I feel like that was back when I was, like, like, like a kid though so I can't really say anything but like I don't know bro like people are always like bro it's just like puberty and shit but I feel like if I didn't lift at all I still I would have I would have looked the exact same like from like 14 years to now like I would have looked the exact same like I don't know bro I don't fucking know like I, I just I don't feel like puberty would have really changed anything in terms of like muscle definition for me like I don't know like, I think the leanest I got was when I was, like, peak cross-country. And I was just, like, running every day. Like, a lot of miles every day. Like, I got... I had... I started to see, like, visible abs. Like, that was when, like, I was really fucking lean. But, like, I've never gotten, like, shredded lean, I don't think. Which is really weird because I feel like I got to, like, my lowest possible weight that was, like, healthy for me when I was in cross-country. But I still... But I had, like, no muscle development, so, like, there really wasn't, like, any point of getting that lean. Like, I feel like if I got as lean as I was, as I was then, now, I would be, like, crazy shredded. Like, I would look fucking insane. Like, I have, like, I have pretty good, like, muscle definition. Like, I mean, not definition, but I have a pretty good, like, muscle, like, like, foundation. I feel like if I were to cut right now, I would probably look fucking insane. But, I don't know. I feel like I'm accidentally cutting anyway. I feel like I barely eat now. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm putting like, I'm putting like school over like eating now. Like that's how fucking bad it is, dude. Like, bro, like I remember like, I literally had to like stop myself while I was working one time. Cause I was like, dude, I haven't eaten anything. And it's like four o'clock. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I went to go to Chick-fil-A and get some food. I was like, why am I not like eating? But yeah, like that shit was crazy, bro. Like, that's just been happening like a lot lately like it's just been like very time consuming to do all this work bro like i don't know if that's how it's supposed to be but like dog i don't know this shit's crazy um but yeah bro i don't even know what else to talk about really i'm just gonna i'm just gonna chill in right now bro i might go inside do some school work i need to get some school work before i go into work today like 
because like fucking I don't want to I don't know I feel like I feel like going to work and like knowing you have like assignments due like that night is like the worst feeling ever because you're like bro I'm coming home at like nine o'clock it's like bro I don't know that's like that's like the last thing I want to think about when I get home from like a shift is like having to do like some schoolwork. I don't know. And you're having to like rush it too because you get home late, so it's like fucking ass. I don't know. This video's been pretty fucking long. I don't know how long shit's gonna be. I'm just kinda sitting here talking, whatever, just like a stream of consciousness. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, like fucking shit's been shit's been shit's been alright mentioned that in the last video it's been okay i think it's getting better um uh, i think it's already starting to get better uh fucking yeah dude um i don't know bro i'm like i'm like so fucking single right now it's insane like i literally like i've gone through like all the phases of being single already and i've been single for like what's it been like seven months i've been single for like seven months i got like a two-year relationship in july that shit was crazy, bro. Like, I, like, damn. That shit was wild. But that's, like, a story for another fucking video. But that shit was crazy. But I've been, like, I've been so single lately. Like, I'm really not talking to any girls right now, like, seriously. Like, in any sort of way. Like, at all. Like, I'm not. And, like, I think, I feel like, in a way, it's a good thing. Because I feel like girls will distract you from, like, shit. And this goes for, like, girls, too, if you're watching this. Like, dudes will distract you, like... Literally, like, a love life will distract you from, like, the most important shit. Like, fucking, like, trying to, like, chase bitches when you're fucking, like, in school is, like, the worst possible thing you can do. And it's, like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like right now, like, I would not be able to hold down, like, a steady relationship, go to the gym, go to school, have a job, like, all at the same time. I feel like that would just be way too much for me. Like, hell no. Fuck that. That shit sounds, like, so fucking intense. I don't know, bro. Like, relationships are crazy. Bro, I I fucking, I hate, like, the notion that people say where they're, like, this is going to sound pretty, this is going to be a hot take. But, like, they say, like, once a cheater, like, always a cheater. Bro, when I was in, like, middle school and I had a girlfriend in, like, middle school, but I don't know if this really counts because it's, like, middle school. I, like, cheated on my girlfriend in, like, middle school. And, like, I think I cheated on, like, like, all of them. Like, every girlfriend I had. Actually, except for, like, one. I think I didn't. Because, like, that was just, like, whatever. But, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I, I was in a two-year relationship. I, my, my mind never went to cheating. Like, ever. Like, when I was in that relationship. Yeah, my, my fucking phone overheated, bro. <laughs> it was sitting in the damn sun, like, the entire time. I had to fucking move that bitch, so I got it sitting right here. Bro, I can't wait to get a tripod, bro. When I get a tripod, it's, this shit's gonna be so much easier. But, like, yeah. But, anyway, I was talking about, like... Hold on, let me move the seat back. I feel like I'm fucking getting intimate with y'all. Like, so... Fucking, yeah, dude. Like, my mind never went to cheating when I was in that two-year relationship. Like, I never even, like, crossed my mind. But I feel like that's just because, like, I matured and I realized, like, that shit is stupid. Like, like, why would you cheat? Like, cheating is, like, the stupidest fucking waste of energy of all time. Like... Like, I couldn't, I couldn't even, like, fathom that shit, to be honest with you, bro. Like, it's just like, bro, if you're unhappy in your relationship, like, if you're so unhappy that you feel like you need to go out and fucking, like, cheat on your specific other, it's like, bro, like, like, just leave, bro. And I, I know that shit sounds like it's easier said than done. Like, I understand that. But, um, but, bro, if for the greater good, just leave. Like, because, like, bro think about like like you're, you're literally causing like two bad things to happen like you're gonna feel guilty as fuck you're now a bad person and you're gonna hurt your partner like it's literally like just the fucking like down like that's it like that's literally just like the rundown of it like you're literally just being a bad person <laughs> like just don't be a dickhead that's literally like the just the fucking basis of it it's just like don't be a fucking asshole like just be a ethical person but yeah I, like i never i might never went to cheating after that like or during that relationship like i love that girl to the fullest extent it's just like the reason we broke up was just like i don't know it's just like we were both going to college i feel like it's just like the classic like high school relationship like ending type shit like you're both going to college you don't want to like you know you don't want to like have a distraction so 
but it was really me initiating the breakup. But I feel like we would have ended up breaking up. Like I feel like, I feel like she would have broken up with me, or uh, like the other way around, or it would have been mutual if we stayed together. Because there would have been no way we would have been able to handle all that shit. Because bro, like having a girlfriend while she's in college is just like, and she's like in a university, and you're like nowhere near her. You're like three and a half hours away from her. Is like just asking for fucking just emotional turmoil to its fullest extent because it's like bro she is she is three fucking hours away from you like if if she's doing some shit you would have no idea that she's doing it you know and i'm not saying that like i didn't trust her but i don't trust dudes that's just the main thing bro i don't trust like guys because everybody knows what guys everybody knows what guys want bro they all want to fuck. They're in college. All of them want to fuck. They don't want to just sit there and, like, talk to her and be friends with her. They want to fuck her. That's just, like, the fucking main thing is that, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, it's just, like, I don't trust dudes, bro. And especially, like, when, like, uh, there's, like, parties. There's a lot of partying. There's a lot of getting drunk out of the right state of mind. It's, like, bro, like, anything could happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, um... Uh, and she went, like, bro, like, we, we rekindled, like, a couple times, like, after we broke up. And she went to parties and shit. And she was telling me about parties. So, I, I feel like I wouldn't have been able to handle that shit, like, um, if we were still together. Because it's, like, you're going to parties and shit. You're getting, like, out of the right state of mind. Like, who knows what could happen, bro. Like, you could just, like, black out drunk and you won't even remember, like, making out with a dude. And it's, like, bro, if I go up to visit you... Like, bro, that's, like, my biggest fucking fear. It's, like, going up to visit her. Like, if we were still together. And then, like, some dude that she was, like, like fucking with, like, the night before would have, like, seen me with her. And he'd be, like, he'd be, like, damn, he's really taking her seriously. Like, I was just, like, making out with her last night. I was, like, as, like, a fucking joke. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit would fucking, that, that just would be traumatizing. That would be embarrassing, bro. Like, there's shit like that, bro. Like, imagine, like, your girl is in college... And I'm saying, I'm not saying my girl would do this, because I know, she, like, she's a really, like, a good person, and she most likely wouldn't have done this shit, but, like, I'm just saying, like, hypothetically, like, let's say your girlfriend's in college, and, like, and, like, and no dude is taking her seriously there at all, they're just, like, trying to fuck, and, like, they end, like, there's, like, a couple of guys that end up hitting, it's, like, you go to that college, and then, like, the, the people that have hit, like, see you walking around with her, like, all in love and shit, and they're, like, damn, this dude's really taking her seriously, like, like, he's the only one taking her seriously. We were just fucking her, like, the night before. And this dude's over here trying to, like, buy her flowers and shit. Like, that shit would be so fucking crazy to me, bro. Like, hell no. Nah. But anyway, this video's getting long as shit. I'm gonna have to end it right here. Alright. But I'm gonna I'm I'm see y'all later, man. Hey, bro. Bro, check out my music, man. Link in bio, for real. Uh, I got some good shit. I got some good shit. And I got some more shit coming soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on some more music. Uh, I make beats, you can probably, like, if you click on my channel, you can see all the beats that I made, um, trust me, they're not trash, I'm, I'm like a musically inclined person, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but yeah, but I'll see y'all, bro, I'll see y'all.